Hi there, Joe Walker here, author of Elvis in Arkansas, uh, with you again to talk a little bit more about uh, Elvis's ties to Arkansas. And uh, today we're going to talk about the song Heartbreak Hotel. It had a, uh, a significant tie-in with the state of Arkansas that's, uh, that's uh, almost been lost to history. Um, as you know, uh, Heartbreak Hotel was one of Elvis's biggest hits. Uh, Rolling Stone magazine uh, puts it in the top 500 uh, best uh, rock and roll songs in history. And it has it starts back in November 10th of 1955. Uh, Elvis was in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. He was at the Andrew Jackson Hotel. And there was a lady by the name of Mae Braxton there. And uh, Mae Braxton, along with Tommy Durden, had written a, uh, a song uh, entitled Heartbreak Hotel. And she had a chance to visit with Elvis and uh, play the demo for him. And uh, Elvis instantly took a liking to this song. And uh, so he listened to it several more times. And by the time their meeting had ended, uh, Elvis had the song memorized. And he, he wanted to sing that song. And uh, so there was some uh, kind of back and forth going on between the Colonel and Elvis and uh, Miss Braxton. And there was a, uh, they finalized an agreement where she would receive a, a third of the royalties for the song and in, in return for Elvis's right to uh, record it. So that was on November 10th. You move forward a couple of weeks to November 21st of 1955, and that was the day that Elvis signed a contract with RCA Records. As you know, up until this time, uh, he had been with uh, Sam Phillips and Sun Records in Memphis. And when Colonel Parker became involved in Elvis's career, uh, one of the first things he wanted to do was to pull Elvis as from a regional uh, talent to sort of a national spotlight and uh, and Sun Records just wasn't equipped for that and so uh, when the opportunity came to go to RCA um, there was some negotiation back and forth and on November 21st uh, they signed the agreement where Elvis uh, left Sun Records and uh, became a, an RCA recording artist. That was on November 21st. Now keep in mind that even during this time Elvis was still touring across Arkansas. He and uh, and his uh, bandmates, uh, Scotty Moore and uh, Bill Black and DJ Fontana on drums, uh, they were still going to high school gymnasiums and auditoriums and football fields, anywhere that people would hear them sing. So on December the 9th, 1955, Elvis had two shows scheduled in Swifton, Arkansas. Now Swifton is in Northeast Arkansas. It's just Southwest of the city of Jonesboro. And the first show was at the Swifton High School. It was gonna be in the uh, gymnasium. Elvis played before a capacity crowd in the gymnasium there. And in, the, in my book, Elvis in Arkansas, there are two photographs that were taken from that show. Uh, the first one was uh, of Elvis actually on the gymnasium floor singing behind the microphone. Uh, the second one was taken, uh, it's a photograph of Elvis uh, with his arms around two girls that were uh, from the audience right there. Those are both excellent pictures. Um, and by the way, neither one of those pictures have ever been published before. And that's one of the uh, one of the things I wanted to do with Elvis in Arkansas is I, I wanted to uh, to bring out stories and photographs that had never been seen before, and and we accomplished that in some very big ways. And I'm very proud of that. And so after the show at Swifton High School, he traveled down the road a bit to one of the honky tonks there in the area. It was referred to as Bob King's Club, and so the the, the honky tonks up and down Northeast Arkansas. Um, which is referred to now as the Rock and Roll Highway, that created the start for so many people. You know, Charlie Rich and Jerry Lee Lewis and Elvis and uh, Carl Perkins, they all had their starts up and down that, that part of Northeastern Arkansas. And so Elvis arrived uh, after the show at the high school, he arrived at Bob King's, which was at uh, capacity. The place was filled up. And by this period, by November of 55, December of 55, uh, Elvis was was pretty well known across Arkansas, across especially northeast, uh, eastern Arkansas, and southern Arkansas, that kind of swing area through there. And so whenever word would uh, get out that Elvis was going to be somewhere, it would, it would fill to capacity quickly. So that night, Elvis was up uh, on stage up there, and he announced to the crowd that he had a brand new song, and it was going to be his first big hit, and he was going to sing it for the very first time tonight. And there on December 9th, 1955, at Bob King's Honky Tonk in uh, northeast Arkansas at Swifton, uh, Elvis sang Heartbreak Hotel for the very first time in front of a public audience. And uh, so that's, the, that's a significant tie-in both with Elvis history and with Arkansas history right there. 
Uh, it would be uh, about exactly about a month later, he would travel to Nashville on January the 10th, and he would uh, record the song at RCA Studios there in Nashville. Uh, it would be side A, side B was I Was the One. Um, and the record was actually released on January the 27th of 1955. So shortly after it was recorded, and as you know, it went on to uh, be an enormous hit for Elvis. But once again, it, it kind of had its roots in Arkansas. And, uh, and so that's yet another tie-in with, uh, with the state. And uh, so these are the stories I like telling. And I'm glad that you, uh, you tune in. And I'm very happy that you enjoy these stories. So uh, stay tuned for the, uh, the next installment of the, uh, on the YouTube channel. And uh, I hope you have a very good day. And I, I look forward to uh, talking to you again soon. Take care.